Okay, so for your handstand pirouette training, what we're going to do is kick up to a full handstand with our hands straight, like a handstand hold. When you're doing a handstand walk and you're about to pirouette, we want to slow your speed. So by pointing your fing fingers forward, that will help you slow your speed down, put on the brakes, kind of be able to stop, and then we can turn from there. We're gonna go through this in quarter turn intervals. So depending on how much you want to turn, uh, this would be the method that I would have you go about doing it. First, we're just going to go handstand and then a quarter turn. And the quarter turn can go this hand, right hand, or left hand, and then we're going to step down. If you want, you can try to hold that position, but we're gonna start here. Handstand, quarter turn, and then step down. Uh, once we get that quarter turn, uh, we can go for another quarter. Now the second quarter turn, if the first one went this way, now it's going to feel strange because we kind of got to step backward this direction. So um, what we can do is practice the second quarter turn by kicking up this way, the way that we finished, and then turning and then stepping down. That way we don't have the complexity of going up and doing the first quarter turn and then the second quarter turn, we kind of want to break it down because the first quarter turn is turning forward, second one is turning backward, feels a little bit different. So just to show you from this side, we're going to go here and turn. It doesn't matter exactly if your hands are perfect. Um, what you will want to do eventually is you go, if you just watch my feet, from here, turn in with your hands and then out, and then if you need to make a full turn, turn in and out again. So that makes a whole loop. So we're going to do now two quarters, one and two, and then we step down from there. So once you have that second quarter, you can go into a handstand hold, but what you have to think about is where your feet are positioned above your hands. When you do the first quarter turn, your feet are still kind of on this side of you. And then when you do the second quarter turn, they're going to feel like drifting over this way because they started over here and now they're moving this way. If you need to continue this direction, so we're doing a handstand walk into a half pirouette, then we kind of want to leave our feet leaning over this side. So from this position here, what we can do is turn and then walk forward. So now we're going to do a quarter backward turn into a forward walk. I'm gonna start facing here. Turn and then walk. So now we've got the quarter turn, the backward turn in the walk. And now what we can do is we can put together the handstand hold start, the quarter turn, if we're ready for the second half turn, I'm sorry, second quarter turn to make a full half turn and then walk, then we can do that. Once you have that down, then we can go handstand walk forward, turn with the two steps, and then walk backward. And that would be the process of going through the small steps to take you through the handstand pirouette. Work each piece separately as it is its own skill and then add them together as you become a little more comfortable with each piece. See how it goes and if something goes a little bit weird, just back up to the last part that you were successful at, practice that again, get that movement pattern down and then try again by putting the pieces together. So you've got the kick to the handstand with the quarter turn, come down. Then you've got the kick to the handstand, second quarter turn, the backward turn, come down. And then we can go, once you have those, handstand, quarter turn, quarter turn, come down. All right, now we wanna go handstand, quarter turn backward, walk forward. <laughs> then we do the handstand, quarter turn, quarter turn, walk forward. And then finally, we go handstand, walk forward, quarter turn, quarter backward turn, walk forward, and you've completed your handstand pirouette walking drills.